My name is Greg Jones. I'm the Assistant General Manager at NID, and I'll be talking to you about the Combi Sediment and Mercury Removal Project. We'll be removing sediment uh, in the fall of this year in the dry, and next summer we'll be removing the sediment in the wet through a suction cutter head dredge. We anticipate removing roughly 70,000 cubic yards of sediment out of the reservoir. Hi, I'm Dave Hamilton from Great Lakes Environmental and Infrastructure. I'm the construction manager and I'd like to go through some of the process that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. We are utilizing high flotation wooden mats. So we've made a, a, a road on top of the sediment out of mats that are a foot thick, four feet wide, and uh, 20 feet long. And we place them side by side, produces enough stability to put 90,000 pound excavators and 30 ton haul trucks on. Our excavators go out and uh, stockpile the material parallel to the mat road and then uh, we have a loadout excavator that the trucks back up to. We don't do any water work. We're out of the water. We have silt fence around the perimeters. Mercury was used in the gold rush era of the mid-1800s, and a lot of that mercury is left in the hills and the surrounding mountainside of the upper watershed of the Sierra Nevada. The last hundred years, that mercury has washed down with the sediment and accumulated in the reservoirs of the Sierra Nevada. NV5, working for Nevada Irrigation District, has done extensive soil sampling and soil testing out on the sediment bed prior to excavation. We're excavating the material out in organized blocks and the test data correlates to the excavation sequence. So any of the material that might be considered suspect is being stockpiled in an area to be run through a processing plant next spring that uh, includes a centrifuge. And the material that is not deemed suspect is being stockpiled in a different on-site location for future use. The project has multiple layers. We're removing sediment from the, from the reservoir in order to regain capacity. We're taking that sediment and we're going to utilize a unique centrifuge process and extraction process to, to remove that mercury from the sediment. This project is important to us for several reasons. One is that this is kind of the test plant, the, the model, if you will, of removing sediment from reservoirs. It seems to be a large problem throughout the West. This project will ultimately help inform the Department of Water Resources in the state of California and other reservoir owners on best practices, lessons learned, and the effectiveness and efficiencies of removing sediment from Sierra Nevada reservoirs.